the world is black and white and sometimes gray and cruel and gray and... Wait a minute, what are you doing? I'm, I'm monologuing. What's it to you? Have you been playing with the color changing filters again? Everything's all dark and cruel and gray? Sure. You really gotta stop messing with my computer settings. You're a wonderful shade of yellow. I'm not yellow. Yes, you are. You're a banana for crying out loud. Yeah, you don't know that. What, that you're a banana? No, that I'm yellow. Yes, I do. Bananas are yellow. Hello everyone, my name is S Comic, and today we're doing another art trend slash challenge. I plan on doing another TikTok art trend video in the future, but this one was just too fun and I've seen lots of other artists try it, so I wanted to give it a shot myself. While we get to drawing, I'll explain what I did and what this challenge is all about if you want to try it for yourself. Essentially, you're going to be blindly coloring your art using a randomly generated color palette. You know how much I love random generators. <laughs> from what I've seen from people who have done this challenge before, they turn their computer on grayscale so that they can't see the color palette that they end up with. I did this by going to color filters in my computer and toggling the button that turns your colors off to grayscale. Then I found a random color palette generator. I used ColorMind for mine, which I'll leave a link for in the description, but you really can use any any website you find that you like. Then once your screen is black and white and you go to your color palette site, you hit generate. I would recommend at least refreshing until you get a color palette with a more distinct value range from light to dark because it was actually pretty tricky coloring with grayscale if the colors were too close in value. I made two drawings for this challenge and as you can see, the first one I decided to go with was Anya from Spy X Family. I've really adored the story thus far and have been a huge fan of the manga before the anime was announced, so I've been itching to draw her. If you haven't seen Spy Family, it is a really, really funny and interesting story about an unlikely family that comes together. I won't get into any spoilers, but essentially the premise is there's a spy and he's got to do a mission and part of his mission is to pretend to be a father and get a child into the school where this bad man who's in all kinds of bad politics and might start a war has a kid that goes to a certain school. So as a spy, he has to try and infiltrate his way in there and the best way to do that is to adopt a kid and have them get into the school too. So in order to get into the school you have to be smart and you have to have a nice stable family. So long story short Lloyd adopts Anya and also eventually finds a wife named Yor and it's about the three of them living together except for the fact that Lloyd is a spy and Yor's an assassin and our little Anya just so happens to be able to read minds so she's the only one who knows that they are both a spy and an assassin and it's just a really fun funny dynamic and everyone should watch it it's a good time <laughs> but anyway I will say for this drawing I generally know where the pinkish skin tones are on the color wheel so I actually filled that in for Anya which you'll see later on doesn't come out bad but doesn't really fit with the color palette challenge after I filled all the base colors in I went back to add highlights and shadows using the darkest and lightest colors and then for the grand reveal oh crap. <laughs> I probably should have been paying attention when color picking because I would have seen that I was really just painting my grayscale in, well, grayscale. Apparently when you turn your computer to grayscale, at least for mine, then try to screenshot it with the snipping tool that I've downloaded, it just reads it as gray. So I had to restart coloring for this one. Instead, I turned the colors back on my computer, then had my husband copy and paste the palette so I couldn't see it, then turn my computer back to grayscale, and then I went back to coloring again. This should work normally if you're on an iPad, but maybe do a mini test on any platform that you're trying this challenge on so you don't end up wasting your time like I did. <laughs> then once we reveal the colors, we get this super cute warm color palette, which I think really suits Anya here. I think the orange hair is really nice on her and she just seems really bubbly and bright with these colors. I wanted to make her really pop against that background, so I tried cooling down the purple with a little more of a darker blue for the background.
background for this one and she's all done. I just, I love the way that she came out. It's really, really stinking cute with her cute little smile and her little chimera plush and oh, if you haven't watched Spy X Family, you really, really should. For my second drawing, I wanted to try relying completely on the color palette for everything, unlike I did for Anya's skin in the last one. So I had my husband help me pick my second color palette and I got to work. At first I wasn't sure what I was gonna draw, so I tried thinking about other shows or movies that I've seen this year, and Sonic 2 popped into my head. It was just such a fun and cute film, and I really love Tails in it, so I was excited to draw them together. Funny enough, the first Sonic movie was the last movie that my husband and I saw in theaters before the big bad lockdown happened. And then the second one was one of the few movies that we've seen since theaters have opened back up. It's like a Sonic world, Sonicception, everything around Sonic. End Sonic, begin Sonic, begin and end Sonic the Horturg. But yeah, the second Sonic movie was very good, very cute. Not obviously like a perfect Grandmaster film, but I really, really enjoyed it and it made me hype to see the next Sonic movie. And uh, yeah, it's good, it's good stuff. If you haven't seen it, you should see it. It's good, it's fun, it's a good time. <laughs> but anyway, it honestly was pretty challenging to try to figure out how I was going to distribute the colors. So I tried to keep their values in the middle so that I could use the lightest and darkest colors for highlights and shadows. I think looking at it here in grayscale, it makes much more sense to me than the first one with Anya, at least for the coloring. And I had a lot of fun drawing these two together. Now for the reveal. Ooh, and we ended up with a very earthy blue, yellow, and green color palette. I think a palette like this kind of makes everything look really cohesive and fit together really, really well. I also think if I were to do this kind of challenge again, I would want to get some really wild colors to add some strange variety in it, but the values on these drawings turned out pretty perfect as far as depth is concerned, I think. But with that, what do you guys think? Would you try this challenge out for yourself? If you do, please tag me on Instagram or Twitter at scomicmaker so I can see how your art turned out. In all honesty, I really recommend this challenge. These are colors I would have never picked on my own for these images, so it makes for some pretty fun pieces, I think. If you like this and want to see any of my other art challenges, I'll leave an iCard here with a playlist where you can check them all out. But that's it for this one, guys. As always, videos like this are possible because of my amazing banana members and people like you who like, comment on, and share my videos. I appreciate you all stopping by, and I hope that we can draw together again soon. Bye, guys.